What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you would have noticed that I've been using the Nex XD1 Adventure Helmet in pretty much all of the videos that I've been running the GS um, on and off-road. It ticks many of the boxes that I need for an adventure style helmet. It's got a peak which helps in low sunlight conditions. It also helps you dip, dip, dip your head down and not get full on roosted by anybody that you might be out with. It's got a great field of view with a massive visor opening and it has a drop down sun visor. Great for when, when the sun's out and it's easy to operate, okay? It's got loads of vents on the top and there is a vent at the front which I can't use because I put my helmet mount on it. But the helmet's getting a little bit old. It's been five years since I've, I bought it so it's time to update and replace. Now, after many months or many many hours of deliberating what I wanted. I wanted something lighter, I wanted an adventure style helmet, and I wanted something that was a little bit more off-road focused without go on full, going full on motocross helmet. So I still wanted something that I could use a visor with, okay? So I decided to stay with Nex and go with the Nex XWRL. The WRL stands for Wild Rally. I know, quite gnarly. So let's get in the box. So Nex is a Portuguese company. They make brilliant helmets. And like I say, um, I've been super happy with the XD1 and decided to go with the same brand because of that. There are obviously other brands on the market, but I wanted a super lightweight helmet. And so, he says, we're going to get out of the box. I went with this beast. So, apart from the helmet that comes in the box, we have got two visors, a box of bits, or a bag of bits, and a pin lock insert, so an anti fog insert. I've done a video in the past on how to fit one of those. Um, if you're not sure you how to do that, I will put the link below for you. So let's check out the bag of bits first. So you get a helmet bag, nicely branded up, with a pocket in the bottom, which you can put spares in. These spares being in this bag. So we have an instruction book, a sticker, and some other stickers there. So they're blood type stickers. Hopefully we don't need those. Okay, so what else do we have? We have a vent closing, pods or side pods for putting on the helmet if you wanna run it with a visor without the peak, a GoPro mount that sits on the top of the helmet, and spare parts, spare nuts and bolts for fastening the peak. We will pop those out to the side for now. So visor wise, we have a clear visor. And these have got the, um, the ridge line, so when you put your pin lock in, it's easier to insert and you don't end up scratching and, and placing it incorrectly. So obviously, we, like I say, we have a clear visor. Put that away for now. And we have a Gucci Iridium visor. So a super cool Iridium visor, which is predominantly orange, depending on what color light you can see it in, and it's darker on the inside, okay? So helps, the Iridium visor obviously not only looks cool, it um, helps change the contrast of the light, so in low light conditions or bright sunlight, you get a better contrast of the um, surrounding areas. But this is why we're here. So really nice helmet bag, which is shaped for the peak. Not normally this hard to get my helmet out. Okay, so next XWRL. 
So it is another adventure style helmet with a peak. It's got the peak extender fitted out of the box. Um, I took the peak extender off the um, the other helmet, the XD1, so that can extend the peak. So you've got a longer peak again for low, um, lower sunlight conditions. So it just helps. Um, this peak is vented, so there's more vents in the peak to make not only to make it lighter but to help with wind travel so it doesn't vibrate so much and it also helps, like I say, lightens the load on top of your head. Vent at the front so it's fitted with the off-road vent so it's fully aerated. But we're going to take that off and quickly fit, he says, the uh, fully closed one because I'll be fitting my GoPro to the front of that and I don't want too much air traveling through the helmet. So, massive aperture at the front so you've got a great amount of field of view, great for off-roading and obviously in an urban environment so you obviously you're, the bigger your field of view the more likely you'll be able to see things um, pulling out from sides of roads etc etc. It has got a on the back this thing here is to basically help you locate your goggles when you're wearing off-road goggles so they don't slip down or slip up and it helps maintain them and keep them in place. Loads of vents, so we have, what I'll do, we'll start at the bottom actually. So underneath, as you notice, the helmet has got a ridge line. So as I bring the helmet closer, you'll be able to see there is a ridge um, just about jawline, so where your neck meets your, your jaw. Um, and that's so you can wear it with neck braces, which is probably something I'm going to get in the future, especially with the amount of off-roading that I'm starting to do. Um, also underneath we have the quick release, just in case, the emergency quick release straps, so you basically, in case of an accident, the paramedics can strip the helmet off your head quite quickly without actually having to undo the um, neck strap. Neck strap is a double D-ring. Who doesn't like a double D-ring? I think they're more secure. And it also has a nifty little magnet, which helps to locate the, the dog end of the strap instead of faffing around with those little um, plastic clips. Also inside the helmet, we have these blue tabs, which are for you to locate a um, hydro pack, uh, some kind of water, uh, water device, water bladder. Um, so you can keep that strap to your helmet. Again, great for when you're off-roading, so you can stay hydrated. If you're hydrated, you can focus more, okay? So, peak comes off super easy. Two screws on the side, which you can undo with your, with your hands. And then the smaller one on the top. Okay, super easy to remove the peak. You can run the helmet without the peak attached as well. So we have forehead uh, brow vents. So again, to increase the air into your top of your head to keep you cool. There is a two position forehead vent. And then we have top of the head vents as well. Exhaust ports out the rear so that air can come out the back, so it helps create a, um, a better environment for when you're riding for your head. Keep your head cool. Okay, so fitting the visor is super easy. And then obviously it just slides down. Looks pretty cool with the Iridium visor on. Popping the peak back on. Small bolt at the top. And there you go guys. Super, super simple to fit the visor and then re-replace the peak. So, the next XWRL 
super lightweight adventure style helmet looks pretty cool in my opinion in the red white and black um, like I say it's made out of carbon fiber it's super super light uh, 1250 grams which compared with the XD1 the XD1 is 1550 so 300 grams which doesn't sound like a lot but when it's on your head all day and you've got a GoPro attached all that weight does eventually add up so I'm looking forward to getting this out on the trails um, if you got anything from this video guys um, give me a big thumbs up um, if you have any questions about the XWRL uh, please fire them down in the comments below but let me know what you think I think it is super cool so again if you got anything from this video give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.